Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into AnyType once again and we are talking about AnyType pricing plan and membership. So if you're new, AnyType is, uh, I would call it a productivity tool, uh, but it isn't actually a productivity tool. It can be used for so much more, but I have been using it as a project manager and a note-taking app, and it does a great job at that. But AnyType wants to be so much more, and they recently released their membership and pricing plans, and today we are going to dive into them. So they re uh, released it uh, and released this uh, blog post as well about their uh, membership philosophy, which is really fun to read through. I will link this down in the description as well so you can take a look at it. But AnyType wants to have memberships. That's how they plan on monetizing uh, this app. But they also will offer a free plan, uh, which is the Explorer pr uh, plan right here. For those of us who have been uh, early adopters of the application, you will automatically be entered into the Explorer plan. So uh, the Explorer plan gives you a local non-unique name, one gigabyte of backup and sync space, and three shared spaces and three editors per space. We will dive more into how the membership works uh, a little bit later in the video. but. Um, as I said, AnyType doesn't just want to be a productivity tool, it wants to be a new way of using the internet. That's always been the fundamental idea of the product. It wants to be a new way to use the internet and it wants to have an independent network. Uh, and. It also wants to decentralize govern, uh, governance of the application, which is really cool. Uh, and the way they want to do this is uh, with something they call reputation, uh, reputation points and karma. So reputation points are transferable points earned through contributions to the network development, and it can be exchanged between members, as it says right here. Karma refers to non-transferable points that reflect how many reputation points a member has earned rather than exchanged. Uh, this is a signal of how much a member has contributed to the network development. Karma can only be uh, earned, it cannot be bound, uh, bought. Uh, the early members uh, get uh, can easier get um, reputation points uh, for joining network uh, the network than those who join later. So if you have been uh, in any type for a long while, or at least before the uh, release of the membership, which will be in April, if I am not mistaken. Let's see if we can find it here. We can't, but I think it's uh, around April. Uh, they will release this at least there, uh, at least in the spring. Uh, and the way this works, uh, if we can open up membership sections of our documents. So they are planning on building a whole infrastructure around this application. So we have non-members, which uh, is what... Uh, everyone who joins will automatically be uh, put to. This is the non-member. It gives you E2E encryption, on-device storage, unlimited cross-device P2P sync. I have already touched on the Explorer plan, which is what everyone uh, who are uh, early adopters will be put into. Then we have the Builder plan, uh, which is uh, gives you a unique network name, seven plus characters, 128 gigabyte of backup and sync space, three shared spaces and 10 editors per space, unlimited viewers for shared spaces and priority support. The co-creator gives you a, a unique name as well, but this gives you 256 gigabytes of backup uh, and sync space, and again, unlimited viewers and unlimited 
viewers for shared spaces and unlimited viewers overall. This cost $2.99 per three years and 19, this cost $99 per year. You also do have guests as well. So these are the pricing uh, plans, which isn't too bad uh, compared to a lot of the market right now but you could use this for free as well and that has always been an important part of uh, any type the fact that it can be used for free as well um, and this isn't like all of the other note-taking apps or productivity apps you use inside of any type you can actually build your own community on the platform using the app uh, instead of for example, using Facebook groups or Discord groups, you could build a community space inside of any type. Uh, this pushes any type towards a no code tool rather than just being a productivity app. Uh, we have exclusive discounts for beta, uh, beta users, uh, as you can see here. This pricing is a little bit different, so you can get the builder plan for $79 per year or $99 per two years. Uh, or the co-creator plan, which is $239 per three years. So it is a little bit cheaper for those of us who have been using any type. Uh, this offer is available to beta users who joined our community prior to the launch of uh, memberships. To make sure you're notified, you have to subscribe to the mailing list or be a part of the community forums. Um, the pricing for self-hosters, because a lot of people want to self-host this, um, they can manage the limits of viewers, editors, they invite to their space themselves. So if you self-host this, you are in full control yourself. This is a part of the AnyType docs right here, and you can read through this. I won't go through all of it. But the main point of this video is to try and explain the fact that any type doesn't just want to be a, a note-taking app or a productivity app. It wants to be a lot more than that. It wants uh, to allow you to use what they call multiplayer, which is just a way to share with others and sort of give you the possibility to build your own community inside of any type. It will be possible to search through and find spaces and you will also be able to search through and find members as well. And uh, the coolest part about this is the fact that they want to democratize uh, the app and you as a member will be available, uh, will have the possibility to actually help uh, or have something to say in the development of the app, which is really, really cool. So all of this is exci exciting. What does this mean for us as users? Well, basically, if you want to use any type as a productivity app and just a way to have all of your notes and your to do's and everything else, it doesn't mean a lot. You can stick with the non-member plan or the explorer plan you will probably have to back up your um, back up your notes yourself if you use the non-member plan uh, and if you use the explorer plan you will get one gigabyte of backup and sync but i would still recommend uh, backing up your notes but for people who want to build a community and to use the app to uh, share knowledge, share notes, share ideas, whatever that is. This is a step forward towards that with the builder and co-creator uh, plans and the multiplayer mode, which is what they are calling it. So AnyType is taking a step towards becoming a place or, or becoming a part of the new internet, also known as Web 3.0, which again is really exciting, for, but for people who do not use the app as, uh, or only uses the app as a productivity tool, it doesn't change too much. You will still be able to use the free plans. It is possible to get everything you want from a free plan, so similarly to 
things like Obsidian, you have the possibility to actually do everything for free. But if you want to purchase what uh, Obsidian calls add-ons, but any type called memberships, you can do that as well, which gives you extra benefits. Uh, I will still need to dive more deeply into this to figure out whether or not it is worth it in my case to purchase some of the plans. But overall, I think this is a really cool step for any type. Uh, and I'm again really excited to see how this continues to develop. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.